Hello, and welcome to today's free lesson. Today, we're talking about can and can't. One way in which can is used in English is to be allowed to do something. To be allowed to do something like, is it okay? Is it okay that your children eat sweets every day? Are your children allowed to eat sweets every day? You could say my children are only allowed to eat sweets at the weekend. To be allowed to do something means that it's all right, it's okay that you do it. If you saw this sign, it says no parking between 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. What does it mean? I'm not allowed to park during that time. And the parking refers to a car. I'm not allowed to leave my car here during that time. If we talk about can and can't then, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Can I park my car here? Yes, I can. I can because the no parking sign doesn't start until 8.30. It's six o'clock in the morning. Can I park my car here? Yes, I can. Mm, it's 4 p.m. Can I park my car here? No, I can't. In British English, can't has a long R vowel sound in the middle. I can't. What does this sign mean? You've probably seen it before. Can I smoke here? No, you can't. No children allowed. So can children go here? Can children go to this place? No, children can't go here can't go in. I'm 19 years old. Can I go in? Yes, you can. No dogs allowed. Can dogs go here? No, they can't. Can I walk my dog here? No, you can't. What's this? This bureau de change is a French term that actually we see all over the world. Can I change my money here? Yes, you can. Can I buy a phone card here? No, you can't. This doesn't mean it's not allowed. It isn't possible. So here, the can and can't is more about, is this, is this possible? Can I change my money here? Is it possible to change money here? Can I buy a phone card here? No, you can't. It isn't that it's not allowed, but it's not possible. You can't. Look at this picture. Tell me about some of the things you can do on an aeroplane. 
you can start the sentence with I can. I can read. I can sleep. I can talk to my friend. Tell me about some of the things you can't do on an aeroplane. What's not allowed or possible? I can't disturb others. I can't shout. I can't sing. I can't jog. It's not possible. I can't... Hmm. You think of some things you can't do on an aeroplane. How about a campsite? What can you do at a campsite? I can camp. I can walk. I can sleep in my tent. Tell me about some of the things you can't do. What can't you do at a campsite? They might include lighting a fire, an, an open fire. Some campsites say no fires. I can't let my dog off its lead. Pets should be controlled. What else can't I do at a campsite? Either it's not possible or it's not allowed. There's another way that we can use can, and that is to be able to do something. For example, can you play tennis? Are you able to play tennis? I can't. I'm hopeless at tennis. What about you? Can you knit? This word knit is a funny word with a silent K. Can you knit? I can knit, but not very well. What else can you do? Can you ski? This person is downhill skiing very fast. I can't ski like that. Can you cook? Certainly when I cook, it doesn't really look like the picture of these two people. But I like cooking and I can cook. I can cook reasonably well. Can you play a musical instrument? I can't. I would like to be able to, but I can't play any musical instruments. Think about the place where you live and try to write some sentences, things that you can and can't do in your city. Can you go to the library? Can you jog in the park? What about things you can't do? Can you park in the city centre? That's the end of today's lesson. I hope you join me next time. Thank you. See you again. Bye bye.